The updated model of the Bell V-280 on display at the Aviation Conference shows that the future long-range attack aircraft design has evolved from the competition-winning demonstrator. The updated model shows significant changes to the exterior molding line, including some changes the Army has publicly announced, such as upgraded sliding cabin doors with fewer windows. The model shows the refueling probe, an extended nose, a single central windshield frame and no downview window, something needed for the special operations variant. The fuselage features a revised wing fairing shape and a deeper gear sponson, and the V-tail appears shorter. The engine nacelles differ significantly from the combined multi-purpose technology demonstrator model, with a differently shaped side intake and a flatter spinner with lower height when the propeller rotor is turned upright. The company has been a hyper-focused on implementation, since winning the FLRA decision in December 2023, Frank Lazara, Bell's Director of Business Development for Future Vertical Lift, told Aerospace Daily at the U.S. Army Aviation Association's annual summit here. This includes focusing on model-based systems engineering of the aircraft, signing contracts with suppliers and getting feedback from the Army as it progresses through the final stages of design. Bell will perform initial FLRA assembly at its Amarillo, Texas facility while the company determines where future production will occur. Although the V-280 design differs significantly from Bell's V-22, which it produced with Boeing, there are lessons learned from the Osprey. The most notable of these is that in the V-280 wing the engines are kept fixed, while in the Osprey all the engines are tilted. Lazara says Bell tried to address maintenance and reliability issues arising from the V-22 in the new design. Over the last few years, an ongoing problem with the V-22's propeller rotor transmission has come to the fore. Hard clutch clutches in particular caused accidents and triggered a long-term redesign process. In the short term, the military services replace the transmission's intake plume assemblies every 800 hours. And the way the clutch is used in the future long-range attack aircraft is more traditional, like rotary wing aircraft use, air he says. Air and that design is different than it was in the V-22, not because of what we learned in the V-22, it's a different design from the start. While Lazara doesn't go into depth on the differences, he says that with the V-280, the focus from the start was on the simplest, a most traditional way of doing it. The U.S. Army plans to equip its first units with the new aircraft in 2031.